Okay, the next step is to make a cladogram. In order to do this, I'm going to double click on number two. And we're going to start out with a line. You want to draw your line from the bottom left to the top right where the penguin is. And then I'm going to make it a little heavier. I'll do four. Okay, so make sure they include it all the way out here. So, um, first thing is we have to show that they all have eggs. So, I'm going to do a hash mark here, shift at the same time, we'll make sure it's straight, and that will represent eggs. Next, I'm going to copy this one because I want it the same weight. Control C, Control V to paste, and I'm going to draw this to the starfish. This goes after the eggs because the starfish has eggs. And if you hold down Shift at the same time, you will get a straight line. Next one, I want to show that the frog, the monkey, the rodent, and the bird all have a backbone. So I'm going to take this slash, copy it, paste it. The reason it goes on this side of the frog and the starfish is that the frog has a backbone, but the starfish doesn't. And I'm going to control C on this line, control V, move it over here, and then resize the length. I'm using shift to get a straight line. The next trait is warm blooded, and all three of the remaining animals are warm blooded. So this goes here. Controlling control C, control V to paste. Okay, and then we have lastly, we have hair, and we want to show that the monkey, monkey, and rodent have hair but the bird doesn't. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do it uh, two lines. So first I'm going to draw a line going to the monkey. I'm going to do shift and resize it to fit. Then I'm going to show that the monkey has hair. Now the bird doesn't have hair. In order to show that the bird doesn't have hair, and the monkey does, we do a line on this one, not on this one. Because the monkey has hair, the bird does not. Oops. I'm just going to copy instead. Okay, so, so far, this is correct. The only thing I have to add is that the rodent also has hair. So instead of coming off this line, I'm going to come off this line. If it came up from here, that would mean that the rodent didn't have hair. But because it does have hair, it comes off of this one. So I'm going to copy here. And attach the rodent. just like that. And that is done. Click Save and Close.